Hi, the CAN or Computer Assisted News newsroom system is meant to be simple and easy and pretty brainless. Let me give you a quick look. This is the main screen on the CAN newsroom system. This works for both Mac and PC clients and is a way to organize the whole show that we think is simple and easy. This is the only main screen here. Basically what you're looking at is scripts, rundowns, news tracker and that's in a, basically an electronic assignments board so everybody everywhere in the newsroom system can know where everybody is. Uh, wires which are self-explanatory, I'll show you that in a minute, and also the the in-out board which lets us know who's in a newsroom system and if they're remotely uh, logged in where they are. Uh, let me give you a quick tour. This is one of the rundowns. Uh, you can move things up and down uh, but it's basically a, a normal rundown. It's got a date with it, it's got the uh, start time of the show, the end time, show duration, a page number, the slug for the story over what it's going to be and how it's going to look, uh, a script and video tracking column, who wrote it, a column to say who's putting this stuff together, uh, the video source, the anchor, graphics, and a front time, a back time, and a total run time. So you can, if you back time or front time, however you, you clock the show, you can do it through this program. Each of these things, uh, there's a whole bunch of features and I don't have time to look at them right now, but they're linked to scripts. Uh, and this is a script file. All of these things are organized according to day and according to show, which is the logical way in how most newsrooms operate. So this is set up this way. So so we're patterning what newsrooms already do, are doing, not trying to force them to adapt to, to newsroom technology. In this case, each of these scripts, if you double click on it, they're associated with lines in the rundown, obviously, because they are, and the, they correspond to each other. And they also work with the, the teleprompter that's linked into this. So if you drop a script in a rundown, it also drops it in a teleprompter. Very easy. The script format is, is a basic split column. So you have to see a video source and then an audio source, which is how most films are made and how, how the logical process for television operates so that, so that we see something and then we hear it. There are all very, very few commands. There's an anchor, SOT, VO, package, a font, graphics, uh, remote, DVE, if, and it's a logical process. So if you want to write a script, what are you going to see? I'm going to see the anchor. You click on anchor. The anchor comes up and you say, which anchor? and you hit command, you can double click on this and say uh, build the anchor uh, and this will show up in teleprompter or this can be set globally through, the, through the, uh, the rundown system and then you just write a script blah 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 if the next line is a voiceover you would click a voiceover and if in this case one of the features depends on what level you're getting this at It'll say which video. If something's already cut, it will marry that uh, to the video as well. Say it's a news open and you're writing the script, and again, this is, if this is already edited, then what it will do is it will, it will show you what that video is in the newsroom system. This is in one version of it. It's not necessarily transportable across the Mac. But when you click on it, uh, to the PC side, if you click on it, it will show you what that script is. So you can actually punch the show, instead of writing all scripts out, you can punch the show off uh, an electronic rundown and it will stack up most of these things. This also tracks the status. If it's written, copied, printed, assigned, say we're going to copy edit, and we close that, it will say, do you want to save the changes? And you say yes, and you can see the status changed. And everybody can see the status, so everybody knows where everything is all the time with the newsroom system. Well, let me show you one quick thing with that, that uh, a scripting system. Uh, if, if we write a script, one of the things we can do that nobody else that I know of can do, can do is let's say we want to prompt out at a remote bureau when that script comes up. We can do it from within the newsroom system and set the stuff up and prompt it right here. So everything is a prompter, basically. Okay, that's scripts. Rundowns, scripts, it says save changes, 
Uh, the news tracker is again an assignments board basically looking at where everybody is, what the assignments are, but this way everybody can see it who has access to it. And this does work remotely by the way. Wires, we can take in both associated press wire, whatever the, the normal wire services are, plus RSS feeds. And these things, can, we can look at the, the individual scripts, we can go to the source, uh, we can copy them to the script. Because a lot of times people will copy edit later on and they don't know where people got that information. So we wanted a utility to do that and, and make it easy. Uh, the in and out board which shows where everybody is and what they're doing and, and uh, so management can track everybody and my stuff is a private one. So in some configurations you can assign scripts. Uh, to people and they can walk in and see what scripts they have to write and, and get started on it even without them communicating. So the whole point is, is to make this simple and, and intuitive and avoid a lot of the complications of newsroom systems and also make it cheaper.